Welcome, this is Dr. Amanda Rockinson zapq In this tutorial, we are going to examine the SPSS output for the two-way ANOVA. Specifically, we're going to take a look at the descriptive data. Here we have open the SPSS output that SPSS generated when we conducted the two-way ANOVA. The first table in the output is the between subjects factor table that shows the different categories of the independent variables and the number of cases within each group. Here we see that our online group had 33 participants and our traditional group had 43 participants. We had 31 males and 45 females. As we scroll down or look down, we see the descriptive statistics table. This table includes or displays the descriptive statistics, including the mean and standard deviation. Also, the number of cases is also presented. The mean and standard deviation are for the dependent variable sense of community disaggregated by each group of each independent variable. We also know that the totals are presented. When writing a result section or a statistical report, it is standard to go ahead and report all the means and standard deviations disaggregated for, by each group of the independent variables. It's also fairly normal to go ahead and report the totals also. Most publications, assignments, um, reports require all of this descriptive data be reported. However, before we talk a little bit more about that, sometimes we also need to report the standard error of the mean and confidence interval. And these statistics are available in the estimates table. So let's go ahead and scroll down and take a look at the estimates table. Now you'll note that SPSS provides an estimate table for the first independent variable here type of program. And then as we scroll down, it also there's also an estimates table for gender. I'm going to go back up to this estimates table for type of program and let's go ahead and look at what's reported here. Here we find the mean, the total mean for each group. We also find the standard error of difference between the group and the, the confidence interval, interval, the lower bound limit of the 95% confidence interval for the dif difference between the groups as well as the upper bound or limit of the 95% confidence interval for the difference between groups. So that's where this information is found. However, for our purposes, we are only going to use this descriptive statistics table uh, to report our descriptive. So I'm going to go ahead and open a Word document. Now SPSS gives us this output, but rarely is it in a format that we want to use whenever we're writing a report. So normally we need to either put it in a specifically formatted table or write information as a narrative. I usually like to display descriptive information in, or at least most of the descriptive information in a table because I think it's easier for readers to digest. Here you can see um, the, that I took the data from the descriptive statistics output and created an APA formatted table. As I noted, SPSS output is not usually formatted um, in any specific style. Specifically, it's not formatted in APA. So um, I needed to actually create a table using a word processing program and then put um, enter the data into it. So that's what you can see I did here. Um, so I just directly took, for example, uh, let's say the group of males who took the online class here they had a mean of 62.18 and so here you can see the online group the male group i put the mean down here of 62.18 as we're looking at this table i want to make two additional comments um, as i noted you can i you can report descriptive statistic information in either a table or a narrative Usually most style guides say do one or the other. Here you can see I did a combination of both. I have the majority of the information in the table and then I have one, uh, one sentence here, males scored higher than females overall in their sense of community to report the overall uh, male and female means and standard deviations. I want to take a note, uh, take, make note here also of the use of N. Note, I have a lowercase N here 
depicting that these are the numbers within the groups of the independent variables. However, the overall, which is actually not correct here, it's important to double check your uh, descriptive statistics, the overall n, actually what we see here is 76. So I'm gonna, the overall total sample population is 76, so that's denoted using a capital N. Also, one other comment, I said two comments, I'm actually gonna make three comments. One other comment I wanna make here is, what you'll note is that the number of decimal points is consistent. Most style guides, and specifically APA, suggest to either report two or three uh, decimal points, whichever is clear. So this is how you report descriptive statistics.